Speaking of space, maybe you saw this beauty last night. What a shot of that, huh? It's a it's a rare solar event called a super blue moon. We saw it here in North Texas. Yeah. Mario Ruiz is here with me, and I, I know you may be scratching your head a bit because we know what a blue moon typically is. It's the middle of the month, though. Yeah, OK, so generally the blue moon is a name given to the second full moon of the month. However, it's also the name given to the third full moon of the season. So that's why it's called a blue moon. Yeah, and it's just all technical, right? Uh, but here's another view. This was actually a picture taken from our North Texas Through Your Lens Facebook group. And this one was sent in by Larry of the Super Blue Sturgeon Moon. So let's talk about all the terminology because it can get kind of confusing. Now, a super moon basically just means that it's the moon when it's closest to the Earth in its orbit. So think of how the moon rotates around the Earth. It's not in a perfect circle. It actually looks more like an oval. So at times it is closer to the Earth. And this is what makes it look 14% brighter, 14% bigger and 30% brighter than usual. The size difference would be if you're comparing a nickel to a quarter. So that's why it looks so bright and beautiful this morning. And again, that blue moon name comes from, in this case, the third full moon of the season. So August full moon is also referred to as the Sturgeon moon. And this one is because it's named by uh, the Alequin tribes that lived in northeastern portions of the U.S. And this was, again, long ago, but the name does does refer to a large fish that is more easily caught this time of the year. It's likely due to the type of waters and the temperatures of the waters this time of the year. Hey, in the next hour, we'll talk about when the next time you'll see the super blue moon. It's not for a while, Kara. Okay, well, glad we got a glimpse of it last night.